So much anticipation for the Jimmy Buffett concert tonight at CenturyLink Center. Mecca sent us the rules for tailgating and security a week in advance just to get the word out. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Tonight, the man from Margaritaville is missing a hurricane back home, but he has taken Omaha by storm. Reporter Nick Starling is live with all the excitement. Nick. Jen Cray, the concert is just now getting over as people are filing out of the CenturyLink Center. It's a lot calmer scene than the last time I saw you guys, but earlier today, Parrot Heads were having fun tailgating before the big show. Load it up. Jimmy Buffett fans know how to throw a great party. Ready? One, two, three. For several hours, lots see outside of CenturyLink Center turn into Margaritaville, or as some call it, Omaha Ritaville. <laughs> right now, baby. Hey, hey, Jimmy is five. Let's go get a cocktail. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts, lays, parrots, all the norm here. You know, in Nebraska, we don't have any of that. We only have a few little places where we have water and beaches. So right now it's in Lot C down at TD Ameritrade. It's the atmosphere. Everyone here is just having fun. And the way I described the first one I ever went to was you see a whole bunch of drunks and not a single person gets in a fight. This duo met today, blowing through these horns. I was just down here walking by and saw the shell, and I said, hey, can I give it a blow? And Ryan said, yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, and at these places, everybody's your best friend. Some groups made makeshift bars, pleasing many who walked by. And we said, okay, guys, let's keep it simple. So actually, this is our keep it simple. This setup was their idea of keeping it simple, as they hoped to catch the eye of the man they came here to see. We really would like it if Jimmy Buffett could stop by. So we'll see. We Now, there were some tightened security measures, but I'm told everything went according to plan and no problems here. And a lot of fans told me they are glad it didn't rain today because that's what happened when Buffett was in town four years ago. We're pointing live at the CenturyLink Center. Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.